Okay, you've seen one of these things before. If you, I mean, if you've been online, if you've been on the internet, you've seen one of these things before. It's called an AeroPress coffee maker. So the thing I'm making in it is dandelion coffee. Whoops. So I've got the uh, dandelion coffee stuff infusing there. And it works brilliantly in the AeroPress because it's a filtered system thing. And it's just a very high way of extracting all of the goodness from uh, either coffee or dandelion coffee in this particular case. Taking dandelion coffee because it's um, got some liver properties. I should be using fresh raw dandelion, but essentially at the moment I'm having dandelion coffee because I feel like having a coffee flavor, but I don't want to whiz my brains out using real coffee. So that's one of the things I'm doing at the moment. Uh, drinking a lot more distilled water. Got myself not only that water jug, but that one there as well. So if I can have a perpetual stream of distilled water, basically that's again for health. That product you see there, Flourish, that's the FOS that I'm taking for my um, probiotics in my digestive tract. Make sure those little friendly uh, bacteria get plenty of food inside them, which is going to be good. And as you can see here, oops, something to add to my smoothies, a bit of extra virgin coconut oil, uh, just to help keep candida down. I mean, the more of these things you check out, the more, the, you know, the more you recognize that a certain percentage of your health is actually in your hands. And obviously here I got like my lentils for when I want to make lentil bread, which I'm doing a lot less because I'm doing raw at the moment, or mainly raw. Uh, here, chia seeds, that's there is for my porridge in the morning. Uh, I take a couple of tablespoons of chia seeds, uh, mix that in with a couple of bananas, a bit of shelled hemp. Uh, shove that into a blender and you know with a bit of water mush it right up properly makes a really like thick viscous uh, really pleasant sweet uh, porridge to have it's absolutely fantastic all right there we see I've got some more dandelion leaf I've got some milk thistle on order so I'm gonna add that to the whole thing I mean this I dried in the dehydrator this is just straight from the garden so I can have that as a tea as well uh, so this is you know, just how I'm looking after aspects of my health. Uh, I know my kitchen is a complete tip right now. I work for a living, I work from home, I don't always have time to get on with my domestic duties, but what the heck. Okay, so it's just the way it is to get used to it. Alright, what else am I going to show you? I mean, the whole place here is like some kind of alchemist's den. There's like little things here and there from everything that I've been doing and everything I've been dealing with. Uh, so it's... Yeah, it's a bit over the top and crazy. Okay, what else? Uh, wheatgrass powder, you can add cream powders to your distilled water. So you're putting some minerals back into the distilled water so you're not just having distilled water, you're having water which doesn't have any chlorine and fluoride and other stuff in it, but you're adding to it organic phytonutrients. All right, there's um, another one here which I've been playing around with, which is Moringa. Uh, I've seen this one being used by DTM in its raw natural form. This is dry and it's got a kind of like spicy peppery kind of flavor and I can add that to uh, a fruit smoothie and I can have that and that's uh, going to add more good stuff. That really does make you feel good. It makes me feel good possibly because I'm nutritionally deficient. Just place a big order for some more vitamins and minerals. Oh dear oh dear oh dear. Uh, of course, neti pot, using that every single day, keep my nose nice and clear. Whoops, I spilled a bit of dandelion coffee on that, I'm just going to have to clean that off later on. Alright, uh, alright, okay, here we go. You know, I'm doing this from the point of view of a regular average Joe who's got like a complex life. So I keep some of my vitamins and minerals there so I can get to them, and everything else is here on the mess of my table, okay? Soup maker for when I actually do want to have cooked food. Uh, right spirulina over here we've got natural vitamin c which is in a plant-based format if you break open the capsules it tastes rather sharp so it's got like good citrusy type uh, fruits in it um, even more good healthy stuff so as it says on the label there thiamine vitamin c calcium fiber potassium so you just add that i mean if this one's a very sharp flavor so you can't have that with too much you know too much other stuff you've got to get the flavors then just right and I've got some maca powder as well which I'm also having for some varieties of my um, healthier smoothie type things I'll go into all this stuff in a greater detail on my other channel but I'm just like telling you about like stuff I'm doing uh, for myself just for the heck of it 
Alright, um, what else? Peppermint to assist the digestion. One thing I've noticed with having a higher raw diet is that the digestive system is a lot better. Okay, basically, let's, let's be honest, um, going to the toilet is a lot easier. Constipation is a lot less. Okay. Hmm, apple pectin. Another very good fiber source. You can take that before bed or you can take it like uh, half an hour to an hour before a meal and that will really help digestive transit too. So, you know, crazy mad, plenty of stuff happening as far as health is concerned. And this one I think is the most important, MSM. Alright, uh, we, we don't get MSM properly from our food. I'm currently at about 4 um, grams a day, 2 in the morning, 2 at lunchtime. And this stuff, I've recognized, does have a powerful anti-parasitic effect, and I've, I've experienced that. But you've got to get it right. It's very difficult, okay? I'll go into that at a later date as well. But anyway, just telling you about like stuff for health.